In this video, we will learn how to calculate year to date, month to date, and quarter to date in Power BI. And we will represent the same in Indian rupees format like lakhs and crores. So, today we will work with Adventure Works database and we will use the fact internet sale table. So, from this table, we need the sales amount and the order date column. So, the first thing is uh, we need to we need to calculate the sum of the sales amount so we'll click on these three dots and we'll click on the new measure let's rename these two let's rename these two total sales and we need the sum of that value sales amount so now next we need to calculate the month to date so again we have to click on the new measure and let's call it month to date total sales So in that we'll take if we have the inbid function in Power BI to calculate the month to date. So in that we have to pass the total sales which we have just now calculated. In the next we have to pass the date. So we'll pass the order date. Now this is done. So here if condition is there so we'll check if this is greater than or equals to 10 million then I pressed uh, alter shift if it is greater than 10 million then we need to concat we need to concat this total MTD with total sales and the order date but here suppose I need a rounded value so I'll use the round function and I'll divide this to ten million and I want to round it to two value. So if uh, if this is done, I'll miss one bracket. I want to conquer that value to CR so this we have done for CR the so same thing we have to repeat for lakhs so let me copy this so this is our first if condition if this is not satisfied I just have copied and paste this one so I'm changing this 10 million to we can say 1 lakh We'll we'll change this text. If this is not satisfied, then the next step is we will again copy and paste this one. We'll change it to thousand.
will give k here. So we have to close this all brackets. Let's see if it's working or not. Let's take one card and let me select this value which we have just calculated. Month to date total sales. Yeah, just just now it's giving in K. So this we have calculated for month to date. We can repeat the same for quarter to date and year to date. So let me take a new measure. We'll call it year to date. And we have to change this function. We will use total YTD. So everywhere it will be total YTD. So this will represent year to date total sales. So we have, re we have replaced MTD with the YTD everywhere. So this will give us year to date total sales. Same way we can calculate quarter to days. We just need to replace the total YTD to total QTD function. Let's take it in another card. Okay, let's take one filter. I want the year in that filter. I'll keep the date hierarchy. I want the drop down or we can have list as well. So let me increase the text size. So we have month to date total sale and year to date total sale. Let's select any year. So if you see 6.25 lakhs and here it's 58. Let's take 2013. So if you see, so month to date is in lakh and year to date is in crore. So this way we can uh, represent the numbers in Indian currency format like lakhs and crores. So hope you like this video. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.